The seven pilgrim churches of Rome are seven ancient and major churches in Rome, central to a religious pilgrimage to the city. They are listed in the following order in the guide by Franzini, San Giovanni Laterano, St. Peter's, San Paolo Fuori la Mura, Santa Maria Maggiore, San Lorenzo Fuori la Mura, San Sebastiano, and Santa Croce in Jerusalem A. Giovanni Baglioni in his book lists nine major churches of Rome, adding somewhat peculiarly the Church of Santa Maria in Unziata dei Gonfalone and the trio of churches known once as Alatre Fontaine, and located at the site of St. Paul's martyrdom. Santi Vincenzo e Anastasio alla Tre Fontaine, Santa Maria Scala of Chile and San Paolo alla Tre Fontaine. History Rome has for centuries been a beacon for travelers. As the home of the Pope and the Catholic Curia, as well as the locus of a many sites and relics of veneration related to apostles, saints and Christian martyrs, Rome had long been a destination for pilgrims. Periodically, some were propelled to travel to Rome from the spiritual benefits, including indulgences accrued through a papally sanctioned jubilee. These indulgences required a visit to specific churches. The churches include the four patriarchal basilicas, St. Peter's Basilica, Basilica of St. John Lateran, Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls, Basilica of Santa Maria Maggiore, they also include two minor basilicas and a shrine, Basilica of St. Lawrence outside the walls, Basilica of the Holy Cross in Jerusalem, Sanctuary of Our Lady of Divine Love asterisk asterisk formerly Street, Sebastian outside the walls, replaced on pilgrimage route by Pope John Paul II in the year 2000. The last of these was added by Pope St. John Paul II for the Great Jubilee of 2000, replacing Street, Sebastian outside the walls. However, many pilgrims still prefer the pre-2007 basilicas and so also attend St. Sebastian's in addition to the ones required for the indulgence. During holy years, indulgences are granted to those who visit certain churches. In Rome, there are seven such churches. This tradition is related to the work of Saint Philip Neri, who devoted much of his time to helping pilgrims and introduced a list of seven basilicas. Guidebooks to Rome Initially, guidebooks to Rome focused on the religious sites. While these continued to have importance by the 18th century, the storied history as well as its envied possession of troves of treasures of Italian art, also drew cultural pilgrims on a grand tour of Europe that almost always included Rome. Early proponents included Richard Lassels in his 1670 book On a Voyage to Italy. Cultural travels today fall under the concept of tourism. Guidebooks had existed since ancient times, for example, the Periplus, or the narrative, sailing around treatise, describing ports or landing sites, and distances between them. There was a description of the Roman Empire, written in verse by Dionysius Periodotus. In addition, there were written guides describing how to visit sites in the Holy Land, as far back as the 4th century. Christian Rome, however, had served also as an independent goal for pilgrims and travelers. The first such guidebooks for medieval Rome, and among the first such guidebooks in Europe, were compiled in the 12th century to address the need of travelers to Rome. They served to map out a city full of monumental buildings and churches, and which for centuries has been in flux, burying and uncovering raising and either rebuilding or constructing anew. Some of the guides were written by local residents, others by transient visitors, with the latter falling into the spectrum of travel literature rather than guidebook. There are general trends to the guides, which mirror changes in society. Guides prior to the mid-18th century are intended for those on religious pilgrimage while those afterward include guides for those with a cultural interest in antiquity and art, while maintaining a distance from focus on devotional aspects. Finally, as the interest in the possession of eduta of ancient monuments and cityscapes increased, both paintings and collections of engravings, 
For example, Vasis and Piranesa's 18th century etchings also added to sources of information of the geography of place across time. Modern guidebooks arise with 19th century cosmopolitan firms and publishers attentive to travelers, such as Baedica, John Murray's Blue Guides, and Michelin Guide. These writings now serve a role in scholarship about the history of Rome, present and past. Among the pre-modern guides or itineraries to Rome are Mirabilla Urbis Roma, Anonymous, Descriptia Urbis Roma, Leon Battista Alberti, Roma Instrita, Flavio Biondo, Franzini, Girolamo, Lacos Maravilios dell'Alma Cita de Roma, Guglielmo Facciotto, Rome. Gioioso, Antonio Maria, Lacos Maravilios dell'Alma Cita de Roma, Guglielmo Facciotto, Rome, Anonymous, Guida Angelica Perpetua per Visitala Cisa, Che sono dentro i fuori di Roma, Il Munita, Rome, Studio di Pittura Scultura e Architettura nel Cisa di Roma, Abate Filippo Titi. Sebastiano Pietro de Viaggio Curiosa di Roma Sagra e Profana Gentile, Picantentera e Forastieri, Il Monitor, Rome, Sebastiano Pietro de Viaggio Curiosa de Palazzi Vil Piu Notabile di Roma, Il Monitor, Rome, Antique Notitia or the Antiquities of Rome in two parts, Basil Kennett. Traité des Antiquités de Rome, A de C E Q S Y True Vosur Dui, Volume 3 Giovanni Pietro Pinarelli, La Cos Maravilios della Cita di Roma con Gran Studio Recercat Duff C. Trata del Cesar, Sazioni, A Reliquia, E Corpi Santi, Anonymous. Indice Historico del Gran Prospetto di Roma, Overo Itinerario is Trattiva, Giuseppe Vassi, Nuova Discrezione di Roma Antica e Moderna e de Sua Contorni Vol. 1, Carlo Fea, Guida Metodica di Roma e Sua Contorni, Divisor in Four Party, Giuseppe Melchiori.